Mahatma Gandhi, born Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi on October 2, 1869, in Porbanda, India, emerged as one of the most influential figures in the history of India's struggle for independence and the global movement for nonviolent resistance. His life story, spanning continents and decades, is a testament to the power of conviction, resilience, and peaceful protest. Gandhi's early years were marked by a modest upbringing in Gujarat in India. His father, who was called Karanchan Gandhi, served as a government official, while his mother, Patlabai, instilled in him values of honesty, simplicity, and compassion. As a young man, Gandhi traveled to England to study law, where he was exposed to Western philosophy, including the works of Henry David Thoreau and Leo Tolstoy, which deeply influenced his thinking on civil disobedience and nonviolent resistance. Upon his return to India in 1891, Gandhi faced the harsh realities of colonial rule and social injustice. He began his legal career in Bombay, which is now known as Mumbai, but faced challenges due to racial discrimination. Gandhi then accepted a job offer in South Africa in 1893, where he spent over two decades practicing law and organizing resistance against discriminatory laws such as the Indian Poll Tax and the Asiatic Registration Act. It was during his time in South Africa that Gandhi first experimented with satyagraha, which means clinging to truth. This was a philosophy of nonviolent resistance that would become the cornerstone of his leadership in India's struggle for independence. Through boycotts, strikes, and acts of civil disobedience, Gandhi galvanized the Indian community in South Africa and garnered international attention for his principled stand against injustice. In 1915, Gandhi returned to India, where he quickly assumed a leadership role in the Indian National Congress, which was the country's largest political party advocating for independence from British rule. Over the next three decades, Gandhi led numerous campaigns of nonviolent resistance against British colonial rule, including the famous Salt March of 1930. The Salt March, which is also known as the Salt Satyagraha, was incited primarily by the British Salt Monopoly in India. Under British rule, the colonial government imposed a tax on salt production and sales, making it illegal for Indians to collect or sell salt without paying the tax. This tax affected the poorest members of Indian society, who relied heavily on salt for their daily diet and livelihoods. Mahatma Gandhi recognized the symbolic and practical significance of salt in Indian society and economy. He saw the salt tax as emblematic of British oppression and a powerful symbol around which to mobilize Indian resistance. Therefore, he decided to lead a non-violent protest against the salt tax, aiming to challenge British authority and galvanize support for India's independence movement. The salt march began on March 12, 1930, when Gandhi and a small group of supporters set out on a 240-mile journey from Sabarmati Ashram to the coastal town of Dandi in Gujarat. Along the way, Gandhi delivered speeches, organized public meetings, and encouraged Indians to join the movement. The march gained momentum as it progressed, attracting thousands of followers from all walks of life. On April 6, 1930, after a 24-day journey, Gandhi and his followers reached the shores of Dandi. There, Gandhi defied the salt laws by picking up a lump of natural salt from the beach, breaking the British monopoly on salt production. This symbolic act of civil disobedience marked the beginning of a nationwide campaign of nonviolent resistance against British rule. The Salt March captured the imagination of people both in India and around the world. It drew attention to the injustices of colonial rule and inspired mass civil disobedience campaigns across India. The British authorities responded with arrests, violence, and repression, but they were unable to suppress the growing tide of resistance. The Salt March played a crucial role in India's struggle for independence. It demonstrates the power of nonviolent protest and civil disobedience in challenging oppressive regimes. It also propelled Mahatma Gandhi to international prominence as a leader of the freedom struggle and a champion of nonviolent resistance. Despite facing imprisonment and persecution, Gandhi remained steadfast in his commitment to nonviolence and reconciliation. His philosophy of ahimsa, or nonviolence, inspired millions of Indians to join the struggle for independence and earned him the title of Mahatma, which means the great soul. Gandhi's influence extended far beyond the borders of India. He became a global symbol of peace and justice, which inspired movements for civil rights, social justice, and nonviolent resistance around the world. Leaders such as Martin Luther King Jr., Nelson Mandela, and Cesar Chavez drew inspiration from Gandhi's teachings and methods in their struggles for freedom and equality. 
Nevertheless, Gandhi's impact on the world remains undeniable. His commitment to truth, nonviolence, and service continues to inspire generations of activists, leaders, and ordinary citizens to work towards a more just and peaceful world. As the sun set on January 30, 1948, Mahatma Gandhi was assassinated by a Hindu nationalist who opposed his inclusive vision of India. His legacy endures as a symbol of hope and a reminder of the power of ordinary people to effect extraordinary change through love, compassion, and nonviolence.